What's up everyone? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fun Guy. I'm here in my fruiting room. So it was the end of the weekend and one of my fans went out. So I just wanted to show you guys what happens when lion's mane is starved of oxygen. So you can see that these, they're just starting to recover now, but a typical sign of um, too much CO2 is that they'll become really soft and squishy and they don't look like a typical lion's mane. However, it can be corrected for and as soon as I got my fans going, some of these didn't quite rebound, but you can see down here on my lower shelves where there's more of, a, of an air exchange happening. It seems like they bounce back fine but I just thought I'd show everyone in case you're having problems and your lion's manes look a little bit more like a coral tooth, then it's just a simple air exchange problem. Try to get your CO2 below 1000 ppm and it should be able to be corrected for. Now these will still taste good. Um, I'm, I usually make a tincture out of these ones or at least dry them up and encapsulate them because they still have the same properties as a normal lion's mane mushroom. They just aren't really market worthy just because they kind of look a little bit different than normal. All right guys, don't mind my sunburn on my nose, but I just wanted to recap from last week. So we had the uh, fans corrected and you can see it rebound really nicely with some dense fruiting bodies. So this is typically what lion's mane will normally look like. You can see on some of the fringes over here that there's a little bit of some pink coloration. That's normal. And as the mushroom develops, it will kind of grow out of that. getting some really nice teeth formation again. Was this one was left from the same exact room and you can see um, these really thick regions of where the high CO2 was, but after a week in fresh air, it definitely self-corrected itself. It's really easy to confuse the coral tooth mushroom, which is still pretty spaced out even in low CO2 conditions compared to this bear's head, which is really dense. And then we've got some lion's mane side by side. And you can see the difference in pigmentation early on. This is a lion's mane and then this is a bear's head compared to some more lion's mane over here. So bear's head and lion's mane side by side just wanted to show you guys how to correct the problem if your lion's mane was looking weird. Alright, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. Until next time, much love.